You're welcome to Educational World Selaxi. Thank you for tuning in. We have an ammeter. This is an ammeter of uh, capacity 0 to 3 ampere, although Wyak request, requested that of 0 to 2 ampere. So this one can also serve. So that is that. So we have here a battery. This is a battery. So we have 1.5 1.5 volts each battery connected in series okay so we have a standard resistor of two ohms two ohm standard resistor that is the key this is our key okay that's the key or the switch now, once you have to know that Wayek has gone tricky these days, these are wires, connecting wires, connecting wires. Okay. All right. So they have made it though. So this is a jockey. This is a jockey. Now, Wayek provided a jockey without anything, but we know that we don't use jockeys just like that. So that made me to include the potentiometer. They just wanted to trick, trick the, trick the, trick the teachers not to be able to predict where they are coming from. So this experiment is all about potentiometer. So we have our potentiometer here. Believe me, you will see potentiometer in your exam. So these are the set of apparatus that we need for this practical. Okay? All right. So let us go to my own question prediction. So the WIAC for this year, electricity will look like this. So the question goes as follows. Connect the circuit as shown in the diagram. PQ is a potentiometer. It's a potentiometer wire, 100 centimeter long, and R is a standard resistor two of 2 ohms. With the jockey not making contact with PQ, close the switch. Read and record the ammeter reading, I. Then you open the switch. You use the jockey to make contact with PQ at the 20 cm mark, such that PJ is equal to L and is equal to 20 centimeters. Close the switch, read and record the value of I, subs I subscript I of ammeter and evaluate the inverse of L. Repeat the procedure for other values of L, which are 35, 50, 65, and 80 cm respectively, and in each case, determine the corresponding values of I subscript I and the inverse of L. Tabulate your readings, plot the graph of the inverse of L on the vertical axis and I subscript I on the horizontal axis, starting both axes from the origin. From your graph, deduce the value of I subscript 0 of I subscript I, that's I naught of I, when L inverse is 0. Then we evaluate for I subscript 0 over I. So these are the questions or these are the instructions to to follow for this practical. So here on let's go straight to the main practical. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel if you are a new viewer or you are a returning viewer but you've not yet subscribed. Please subscribe and share. Allow the adverse to play because that is where we get our own revenue. Okay? Please I beg you, do not skip the adverts. Let them play on. Please share this video to your friends and comment on the comment section below if this video was helpful to you. I'm looking forward to your comments. Thank you so much. Now, let's go straight to the practical. So, in order for us to connect based on what we have, based on the diagram, so we connect our bat we connect the wires to the terminals of the battery. We connect the wires to the terminals of the battery. As you can see me performing that now. Okay, now I have connected the terminals of the battery to a connecting wire. All right. 
now this is an ammeter the red is the positive while the black is a negative so in connecting an ammeter to the battery we connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the ammeter and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the negative terminal of the ammeter that is the way the connection is done so this is the two ohms resistor so we are going to add connecting wires to the terminals of the two ohms resistor as you can see so i am connecting the wires to the terminals of the two ohms resistor make sure you are paying close attention all right so i have connected the terminals of the two ohms resistor with the connecting wire so the next thing we have here is our key so the key of the switch or the switch will also connect wires across the terminals of the switch or the key we make our connections solid I prefer to use this type of uh, connecting wires because I, I want to ensure that my connections are solid. So this is one of the precautions you have to ensure that your connections are solid. They are strong so to prevent uh, current, current leakage. So I am connecting the terminals of the, of the switch to the... I'm connecting wires to the terminals of the switch. okay i am done with that so you can see how the connection is going from the battery from one end of the battery to the ammeter from the other end of the ammeter to the switch from the other for the other end of the switch to the two ohms resistor and from the other end of the two ohms resistor back to the other end of the battery so here we have formed a closed loop all right the next thing is to do now is to look for ways to connect the potentiometer but before that we are going to close the key to measure the current flowing when the jockey is not in contact with the potentiometer and when we close our key we can see that the current there is 0.8 ampere but the camera is not too close so we cannot see that for now but subsequently i'll make sure that you can see the readings so we take note of that down 0.8 amperes now to connect to potentiometer we use one of the connect connecting wires we connect wire to the end to one terminal of the two ohms resistor so from the terminal from one terminal of the two ohms resistor we connect a wire as you can see now then that same wire is connected the other end of the wire is connected to one of the ends of the potentiometer as you can see the meter bridge is connected there okay all right so now from the other end of the two ohms resistor we will connect our jockey remember this is my jockey improvised i'm using a wire connected to a crocodile clip for this particular jockey all right so i connect this jockey to the other end of the two ohms resistor now here i go so from the first one when the crocodile clip is at the 20 cm mark i close my key and i check for the ammeter reading i will discover that the ammeter reading is 1.3 amperes as you can see 1.3 amperes we record it down 1.3 amperes so that's the ammeter reading so we now increase it to when it is now what when it is not 35 as you can see when it is at the 35 cm mark when the crocodile clip is attached to the ruler to the potentiometer rather at the 35 cm mark the current there now reduces to 1.2 amperes as you can see the current reduces to 1.2 amperes so we take note of that and we write it down 1.2 amperes because we are going to tabulate these values so we increase it to at when it's at 50 cm mark when the jockey touches the potentiometer at the 50 cm mark and we close our key the current drops further to 
1.1 amperes as you can see 1.1 amperes so we take note of that 1.1 amperes we are going to tabulate this result so further we shift the jockey for it to make contact at the 65 cm mark as you can see at the 65 cm mark and we close our key then we take the readings the current drops to 1.0 ampere 1.0 ampere as you can see 1.0 ampere all right so make sure after each reading you, you disconnect the key because to prevent the current from draining this is another precaution to take so lastly we shift it to 80 cm mark and we close the key and when we close the key we can see that it's a little bit shy of a uh, one ampere so i will call that 0 0.95 ampere so 0 0.95 ampere so we take that reading down now we go to our table of values okay so we can see that the current measured when the jockey was not in contact with the potentiometer is 0 0.8 amperes so we go into our graph plotting so for our graph plotting we plotting the graph of the inverse of l against the current i subscript i so the scale used here is 2 cm to represent 0.01 units on the vertical axis and 2 cm to represent 0.5 units on the horizontal axis okay so we can see our table of values okay with uniform number of decimal placements okay so let's go straight to the graph plotting so when the current is 0 0.95 ampere the inverse of l is 0 0.013 per cm we mark the points out when the current is 1 ampere the inverse of l is 0 0.015 per cm we mark out a point and when the current is 1.1 ampere the inverse of l is 0 0.02 per cm we mark out the point and when the current becomes 1.2 amperes the inverse of L becomes 0 0.029 per cm. We mark out a point. And lastly, when the current becomes 1.3 amperes, the inverse of L becomes 0 0.05 per cm. And we mark out a point. So we join those, these points with the line of best fit. We join these points with the line of best fit. As you can see, and we draw a convenient triangle right angle triangle for our slope remember the slope is calculated by changing the vertical axis over changing the horizontal axis so we go ahead that our slope becomes change in l divided by change in l inverse rather slope is change in l inverse all over change in the current so and the values we have there we have that 0 0.04 minus 0 0.012 all over 1.30 minus 0 0.95 so evaluating this we have that this is equal to is equal to 0 0.028 divided by 0 0.35 and which gives us 0 0.08 per cm per ampere remember the, the unit is very important so from the graph we are asked to evaluate that we should find or deduce the value of the current when l inverse is zero and that can be seen as 0 0.8 ampere at this point as you can see the point indicated so evaluating i subscript o divided by the current remember this current is when the ammeter when the jockey is not in contact with the potentiometer so evaluating that we have 0 0.8 over 0 0.8 and the answer is 1.0 so this is where we stop